guys love bougie okay? okay the guys are bougie the boys is bougie like <laughs> you'll be hearing my song they be like all right like if it's a good song it's a good song right right you know it just is what it is so you know what I'm saying dudes out here being bougie too like yeah, yeah, yeah. but you know it's clear for the ladies like i'm saying like go girl it's your time like baby you deserve it like it's a real pretty song, but it just rocks like it's one of them, like, 2000s vibe. Like, it's going to hit the beat hard. Yeah. Like, it's just like one of them, like, we could be at the cookout. Like, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. we could be in a cup, But it's just the all-around movie universal vibe, you know? I love Yo, what's poppin' everybody? It's your boy, Armand Lindsay, back again. Listen, this is gonna be a great episode because we got a double backer. You know what I'm saying? We spinning the block on this one. You know what I'm saying? We got um, a, a young artist out of Atlanta. You know, obviously, if y'all, I was just talking to her, I was like, we did the first episode eight months ago, and I was like, dang, we coming up on a year. Like, it, it's super crazy just how everything in the time is, you know, is going by so quickly, but then, obviously, to have her back, presenting this new single that's dropping on Thursday. But listen, everybody, man, Pac Leah, say what's up to the podcast. What's up, Big Boss Talk? It's the biggest boss, Pac Leah. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. We love it, we love it. You know, right, we know she always going to bring the energy. But listen, man, before we, um, you know, kind of want to get started, man, I just want to kind of obviously ask about the single, man. I want to start just getting right into it, into the single, um, obviously, it's called Bougie. You know what I'm saying? Where did the name come from? Like, why Bougie? It's so crazy because I ended up listening to, like, two of my old songs, and I said the word Bougie in it. So, I don't know. It just was in the hook, like, from the hood, but I keep it on Bougie. So, I was like, Ooh. it's just, you know, that's, that's how I feel like I describe myself. Like, I'm, you know, from the hood, but I keep it on Bougie. So, I just was. And I like the one word title, so it's just like all caps booty simple, like you yeah, know. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Yeah, so, you know what I'm saying. We versatile. So then, let me ask, like, what went into you know kind of making this project, you know, or this this single? Because obviously, we know you took some time away, um, no social media or whatever. But I want to know, like, what you know, who did you collab with as far as like producers or engineers, and just what. What, what you know what I'm saying like what it what did it take for you to just create this single and where does the emotion coming from like what what was the process in this song it's so crazy because my producer who like made the beat for Bushi he was random he reached out to me when I wasn't even on Instagram and I'm like is this a scam because I'm not even active right now so I'm like I'm, he's in New York so I'm about to send like all this money to New York for like not only the beat for Bougie but 10 other beats so I'm like nervous like you mm -hmm. know and um it just the beat just like literally grabbed me and I just it put me back in that creative mindset because I hadn't been in the studio for months yeah. so it's like once I got that beat, it just, like, I had a momentum of just, like, creativeness, and I ended up doing a whole EP, so Bougie is just the lead single, and, you know, I really feel like it came from a feel-good spot. Like, I was in a really high vibrational space, so it was like, I wasn't talking about nothing other than me feeling good, me coming from you know, the hood, a struggle, whatever, and I'm classy, like, me and my best friend, are we up here? Like, yeah, they yeah. love us, like, all good vibes, like, you know, so that was just the energy, like, real woman empowerment, you know. That's what's up. So we, we talking that talk on this single. So obviously, with the talk, you know what I'm saying, we're going to do the, we're going to walk it out. But, so I, this is a, definitely a, a, a more of a, would you say it's more of a female single, or, you know, do you see yourself being like, you know what I'm saying, like, do you see guys rocking this single too? Because obviously, I like music. Yeah. Man. Guys love bougie, okay? okay? The guys are bougie. The boys is bougie. Like, <laughs> you'll be hearing my song. They be like, all right. Like, if it's a good song, it's a good song. Right, right. You know, it just is what it is. So, you know what I'm saying? Dudes out here being bougie, too. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. but, you know, it's clear for the ladies. Like, I'm saying, like, go, girl, it's your time. Like, baby, you deserve it. Like, it's a real pretty song, but it just rocks like it's one of them, like, 2000s vibe. Like, it's going to hit the beat hard. Yeah. Like, 
it's just like one thing like we could be at the cookout, like you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like yeah, we could be in the club, but it's just the all around movie universal vibe you know i love it man you're gonna mess the streets up with this one so obviously we talked about you was uh talked about the producer right so he hit you up on some you thought it was a scam because I'm, I'm not active right now then i also saw the video i think you did like a reel when you was coming back into the studio for the like for the first couple of times he was like man it's been a minute you know since i've been in here and like you know i think it's cool to be able to you know, because I sat in on one um, studio session once. And, and when I went into a studio session, my homie, I was like, I just wanted there to observe. I wasn't trying to bring no energy. I just wanted to see how artists create. You know what I'm saying? How artists get into that mode, get into that, you know, that uh, that headspace. And so, obviously, you gave us a little insight on that reel by just displaying some of the, you know, some of your rhymes and some of the music that you were working on. But you said you took some time off. Like, what was that? Because when we first talked, you was like, man, I'm about to go on this hiatus. I'm about to take a break. Like, what, what was what was the break for? Like, you know what I'm saying? What did we do in the break? Man. Was it good honestly, break? You know how they be like, your plan and then God's plan? That was just like God's plan. And I really am a strong believer. I'm going to get this tattoo. How you going to win if you went right within? Like, I'm not trying to keep up. I'm not trying to, like, prove nothing. I had to prove something to myself. It was just, like, not meant for me to be trying to like put on for the world and give to the world. I had to like take care of me and get my mind right, get my home life right. And I just felt like what's for me is for me. So I don't have to rush. Like I don't have to compete. I don't have to force nothing. So that's pretty much what that was. And I came back swinging on, them, you know, <laughs> Ooh, swinging so on. That, that, yeah. And the gas is on my foot on the gas this time. It's no more. I ain't gonna say it's no more hiatuses. Because right. maybe like a couple of like years and I might, you know what I'm saying, hiatus is always needed, but just know like I'm about to get to a certain point before my next hiatus. So yeah, I'm gonna say that. Yeah, that's what's <laughs> up. I mean, it seems like, you know, obviously it was a, a necessary break to kind of recenter, rejuvenate. Um I've been there before, you know what I'm saying? Like I think as a creative in general, like sometimes you just run out of the gas and like you said, you, you know, you got your plan and then there's God's plan. And so Sometimes, you know, God's plan gonna always trump your plan and you just never know how it's gonna go. So I, I see that you come back with a different energy. Like the first time we talked, obviously you were you know, you was excited. We was talking about you as an artist, your background, your beginnings. But then you was like, I gotta take this break, you know what I'm saying? I'm going on this cleanse. Like it just seemed like you had to get something right. And it seems now like being on the yeah. screen, like it's like you ready to take over 2023 and so i don't i don't know what's gonna happen i'm wishing nothing but the best um but is there gonna be a visual uh for there's gonna be a lot of visuals it's gonna be an in-studio shoot like an unofficial video like i got a live performance with it to, for like tomorrow with like you know when it might be in the street yeah and then gonna shoot an official video but that takes more planning so i want it to be perfect so like I say, I don't rush. I'm gonna do things. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And it's gonna be a movie. Okay, it's <laughs> a movie. I, I like it. I, I um I think I know what you're talking about. I've been seeing like I think one of the guys that do it's called On the Block. Like they they drop the mic in the middle and then they get you to rap over it. So that'll be hard. Now you gotta come like hard on that one because I mean I like those. Those are pretty dope. Like when they drop the yeah. mic, but it's like. You got to, I mean, obviously, you know what to do. Like, I've been seeing your reels. Like, you've been on stage performing, like, putting on shows. So, it's like, oh. yeah, like, you're not, you're not, it's not like you uh, shy away from the crowd. Like, you know how to entertain. So, I'm excited for whatever you putting out, all the visuals. But, you know, people want to know, like, I, I'm a huge visual guy. And so, I know some people that love visuals. And I just wanted to see when the visuals will be coming out. So, um, like, as far as, like, we know the visuals are coming. Uh, we know you taking over you know taking over the plan but like what's and you got an ep so like when can we when you, do you expect that ep to drop and then like just what's next musically for you like i mean obviously we got the ep but what's are we getting an album or anything in the future like what's going on so i mean like i said the gas is like foot on the gas like the visuals are gonna uh, the visual for bougie is gonna drop in january my EP, I want to put it out in January, but I'm not trying to rush because the songs are ready. It's, you know, the EP is done. Like, you know, so we already working on the next. Like, the next project will most likely be an album. I will hope it to be an album. But I'm just really, like, getting out here in these streets more. Like, I'm getting on more shows. We're going to put together a tour. Like, I want to connect with people. I've been, like, talking to high schools. Like, I've been finding my target audience. Yeah, like. Yeah. 
I just been out here like on my mentor vibes. Like I just been like girls have been telling me like you really what we need. Like people have been sending me like inspirational messages. Like I meet people all the time. And I'm just looking forward to making an impact. Y'all gonna see more of me. I'm about to be on everybody platform, everybody yeah. stage. Like I was over here beating down little baby uh Twitter trying to get on his tour. He was like, who should I bring on tour? So I just feel like a lot of surprises are in store for not just my supporters, but for me too. Like like I say, everything is divine timing. So I'm excited. I got new management and just, you know, it's up. I love it. I love it, man. I can't wait, um, obviously, for all the projects to drop. Um, and, and you got nothing but love and su support. Like, I'm, I'm super grateful that I even got the call and reached out. Like, hey, I got to get with you, you know what I'm saying, to be able to double back. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't take that for granted. And obviously, you know, we're going to support along the journey. Anybody that hops on the screen in the in the first place, like, I'm a fan. I'm going to support along this journey, however long it takes. But obviously, it seems like you got your head on right. you under new management. Um, you know what I'm saying? You finding your target audience, your niche. You know what I'm saying? Like what? Uh, before we before we go, right? Because I know this is gonna be quick, but we want to highlight this EP, and then we're gonna drop the links in the uh, bio on YouTube and on Instagram, so everybody can go check that out. Um, and and we we're gonna play a snippet of the song once the EP drops out too. We're gonna add that in there so we can get everybody on board. But like, what's the? Give me give me uh, what you trying to to live by in 2023 like what's what's a mantra for you uh because obviously we know the gas on the break but i just want to know because sometimes that energy is high and then that energy drops down but what's going to keep you right in the mind to keep going forward even when you don't feel like it right because we don't want you to have a another five months hiatus you know what i mean but if that's what you got to do that's what you got to do but what's something that you're going to live by in 2023 I'm living by a few things in 2023. I feel like being disciplined is one of my biggest things. Like, I want to remain focused and disciplined. And I just want to keep my mind in a neutral or high state. Like, mm -hmm. either, if I'm not just riding on cloud nine, I at least want to be able to step back and not get, not be in the situation, but be able to observe whatever the situation is. Right. And just know that everything working out for me, regardless of what it looked like. So I'm just, I know 2022, I learned a lot of lessons and now it's time to apply them like to who much is given, much is required. Mm. So you know, and like, it's mm. going to be a little different for me than it will other people. But I will tell y'all this, the name of my EP is going to be called Overnight Celebrity because that's what it's going to feel like. That's what it's going to look like, even though mm. we've been working for this for years. So... And shout out to my management, UFL management, Haitian A. Blade. We are really here to take over. And I'm just grateful. And thank God, and my mama, and all my supporters. And yeah. And, and, <laughs> and that's on that. That's on, that's on what they say, period. That's on that. So listen. Uh, and that's on bougie. That's you know, on we bougie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that's on bougie. That's on bougie. I, I like you know. it. I like it. Well, listen. Where can the people, obviously, when this drops, it's going to be Thursday. The EP is going to be dropped. Where can they cop the, uh, e uh, not the EP, but the single is going to be out on Thursday. So where can they cop the single on Thursday? What's your uh, your tag so we can make sure everybody on that? 12-22-22 is going down. 2-2-2. Bougie will release on all platforms. Mm. Y'all can find me on all social media at Pacquia Richie. P A C L I Y A H Richie and TikTok is just at Paglia. And yeah. That's a wrap, man. That's a wrap, man. Shout out to my girl, Pac Leah, for blessing us with a double back. It was all about the EP this time. Listen, if you haven't watched the uh, first episode, it was eight months ago. I'm going to drop the link in the bio. Y'all going to be able to get anything Pac Leah this time, all right? This is dropping on Thursday. So when this drop, it's already Thursday. And we out. And we out. Mm-hmm. <laughs>